Objective To study about human reproduction, the female reproductive system, uterus and vagina. Uterus or hystera or womb. The uterus is a single, large, muscular and glandular inverted pear-shaped sac. It is about 8 centimeters long. It is located in the pelvis, dorsal to the urinary bladder and ventral to the rectum. The uterus is supported by ligaments attached to the pelvic wall. The uterus is differentiated into three regions. They are the upper fundus, middle corpus or body, and the lower narrow cervix. The cervix has two openings, os internalis and os externalis. Os internalis is towards the corpus of the uterus and the os externalis is towards the vagina. The cavity of the cervix is called cervical canal. The cervical canal, along with the vagina, forms the birth canal. The wall of the uterus has three layers. They are the perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. The perimetrium is the thin external membrane. The myometrium is the thick middle layer. It is made up of smooth involuntary muscles. The contraction of the uterine muscles aids in childbirth. The inner layer of the uterine wall is called endometrium. The endometrium or mucosa layer of the uterus consists of the inner epithelial layer and the lamina propria. The lamina propria is made up of areolar connective tissue. The endometrium is richly vascular and glandular. It has a large number of screw-like blood vessels and many coiled tubular glands. The endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle. It is the site of implantation of the blastocyst. After implantation, it also contributes to the formation of the placenta. Surgical removal of the uterus is called hysterectomy. In certain conditions like uterine fibroids or cancer, the uterus is surgically removed. Vagina The vagina is a large median fibromuscular tube. It extends from the cervix to the vestibule. The vagina is internally lined by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. It is highly vascular. It serves to receive the penis during coitus, so it is called copulation canal. The vagina opens into the vestibule by the vaginal orifice. The opening of the vagina is partially covered by hymen. The hymen is a membranous structure. It may rupture during coitus, insertion of a tampon, during a fall or during physical activity. Hence, the presence or absence of the hymen cannot be taken as an indicator of virginity.